my sister Ellen Michael. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You haven't heard that name in a long time, I've been. No, I haven't. No. Mm -mm. Well, Sister Marion O'Connor, <laughs> um, who is now living in Regina, Regina uh -huh. and who came to us from uh, Regina uh, High School in Wilmette. But I understand they've changed the name of the high school. It's now Regina Dominican O'Connor <laughs> High School. <laughs> Not you quite. left. You left your mark. Yes. Well, I I hope I did. Yes. Positive one. Your blood, your tears, <laughs> your joy, and fortunately, what you you didn't leave there is the joy, because you have brought so much joy to our lives here well, at the you. Dominican Life Center. Well, I appreciate that. Yes, yes. I hope so. Yes. Hope I have. Well, you don't have to hope. That, <laughs> that, that's a that's a, a Irish. Praise. <laughs> okay. I hope so. <laughs> it's really true. I'm the, the witness of that. Yes. And um, are you from? Uh, were you born in Chicago? Yes, Mary, I was. Mary? Was born on the south side of Chicago. Oh. In spite of all my years at, on the north side. Oh. Yes. I went to St. Killian's oh my. Grammar School. An Irish parish, no oh, doubt. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and your parents, no doubt, were from? Oh, my mother was from Dingle. Oh. Yes, um, and my father was from Carasabine, Port McGee. Oh, well, I have no idea where that is, yes. but I trust. Well, uh, I, we kind of define it now after we, I visited, you know, yeah. Ireland. Uh, my mother was from a very, very poor area. And they spoke Gaelic. Ah. And my father was from a rich area, Carasavine, Port McGee, on the Ring of Kerry. Mm. After I saw and visited there, I understand. Yeah. Did they marry in? Uh, no, they were, didn't know each other. They met each other in Chicago. And they at met church. at a dance. Oh, at a dance. Oh, at a dance. <laughs> um, I hope they were. <laughs> Certainly a church too, <laughs> but they were met at a dance. Oh my, mm -hmm. how beautiful. Yes. And how many siblings? My mother was one of 13. Oh my. And my father was one of 10. And they, they produced how many ch children? Well, actually, uh, my father uh, produced, I'd say, about five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mother, my mother, it was, my, I know more about my mother. It's interesting. Uh, she had a sister that remained over there and a brother. And then she had two sisters, nuns, who were members of the presentation order in Ireland. Have you ever met them? I met the one. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one was deceased before I ever went to Ireland. Mm -hmm. But uh, Sister Dee Lourdes, yes, I found out she was a very intelligent, outspoken nun in her community, mm -hmm. stayed at the Presentation Convent on five occasions. Oh, my. Yes, it was marvelous. Not one occasion, but, no, but five. No, five occasions. <laughs> my first visit to Ireland was with my father. Oh, my. Uh, after my mother had died in March, my father always wanted to go to Ireland, but my mother never wanted to return to the poverty yes. that she experienced. Yeah. And my father was very worried about that trip. Uh, mainly, what would the relatives say that he is now financing a trip to Ireland after his wife died? But they understood that she never wanted to go back, never wanted to endure that, I guess, horrible trip over on the ship. And not in first class. No, oh, not yes. definitely not yeah. first class. Oh my. So I did meet her uh, sister and brother in Dingle, and uh, they spoke Gaelic. I understood later that they could speak English, but they were speaking Gaelic to make it a little difficult, I think. Did your parents speak, speak Gaelic at, when you were My mother up? had a couple of lines when she didn't want me to understand something. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Right. Yes. 
Uh, but you do have all those Irish <laughs> characteristics. <laughs> they've, they've never faded. They've just <laughs> grown richer. Yes. Um, so from Killians, I presume uh, the when, next step was Aquinas? Oh, the next step. Well, there was a little discussion in the family. Yes, Longwood was a, a great school on the far south side. And we had uh, a lot of, uh, you know, trips to Longwood. And um, my mother and dad didn't want me to travel that far. That's too far to go to Aquinas. All those buses we'd have to take from mm -hmm. St. Killian's. But uh, they could see that, you know, I really wanted to go. So my mother had an ultimatum, I called it. She said, the first time that you are ill, then you're going to change schools to Longwood. I had a perfect attendance. <laughs> you went whether you were sick or not. <laughs> I think she forgot that statement. Oh, why did the Aquinas girls walk over to Longwood? No, not the Aquinas girls, the Killians girls. Oh, the Killians, Killians girls. Oh. When we were little, we walked there. We had our plays oh. at Longwood, or we saw plays at Longwood. Oh, I... mm -hmm. And so uh, it, it wasn't really far, you know. And uh, it just was surmised that, you know, <laughs> I might go, go to Longwood. Long way. <laughs> no, but I, and I loved, you know, all of the sisters at St. Kilian's. And who are some that you remember? I love hearing the names of our oh, deceased yes. sisters. Well, I had Sister Ann Dolores in second grade. I had Miriam Treese in third. Oh my I had Janine in, in fourth. Janine. Janine. Oh, Clem. Uh, yes. I had Sister Linus oh in fifth. Oh, you're amazing. S sixth, Anna Marie. Oh. And uh, seventh, Marie Cecile. Little Marie. The little one. The and little in eighth one. grade, uh, I had Ro Sister Rose William, Margaret Moran. Was she the principal also? Uh, no, mm -hmm. no. Uh, the principal. Uh, was, I don't remember who the principal was. Well, you didn't have her for class. <laughs> I didn't have her for class. And I wasn't uh -huh. naughty, I guess, so I never yeah. encountered her. Well, the boys you, may have, but You were fortunate to have Margaret Moran oh, and Rose yes. William. Right, yeah. and then Rose Abier. Those oh. were the two, you know, eighth grade classrooms. So you, there was no doubt you were going to Aquinas oh, where the Dominicans were. That's right, and my mother and dad then realized that. Mm -hmm. How much I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, what was your what was your uh, interest uh, academically at Aquinas? Oh, my interest was uh, social studies, mm -hmm. history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that what you went on? That's what I went on uh, later on. Get mm -hmm. your degree, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I had great teachers at Aquinas. Too. Who are some of the teachers oh, that inspired you? S Sister Frances Gerald. Yes, Sister Magella. Yes, and uh, Sister Jane Ellen. Was, right. was Sister Ann Terrence there at the time? Ann Terrence was the principal. Oh, great lady. Did they ever invite you into their home, into the convent? I don't know if I was in, well, we, I saw the convent, mm -hmm. at least the front entrance and the front mm -hmm. parlor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, they were very welcoming, mm -hmm. but right across the street. <laughs> well, we had a long ride to Aquinas. So I presumed after, while you were a senior, you thought, I've got to go further with the, with the Adrian Dominican sisters? Yes, well, I kind of thought about it earlier than probably my senior mm -hmm. year. Yes, and I think, you know, I saw that wonderful example and love and uh, kindness mm -hmm. of all of the nuns. They were really great. And you knew you'd fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, the sisters did. <laughs> right. So uh, you entered after you graduated? Right after, a couple of weeks after I graduated. How were your parents about that? Well, they, you know, they were sad, mm -hmm. particularly being an only child. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that was very hard. No grandchildren? No. Yeah. Yeah, no. that would be hard. Oh, very oh, hard. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Did uh, they come with you when, on your trip to oh, Adrian? Oh, no. 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 We all boarded the, 
the train at 63rd Street, everyone that was entering. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Are any of the women still here? They are. Nora entered? Brady is one. She boarded that train. Oh. Uh, Sister Therese de Caniel. Oh, my. She did. Oh, mm -hmm. and There then, were uh, and Mary Schmagner. Now, Mary Schmagner I met at Aquinas. Mm -hmm. She did not go to uh, Killian's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were about nine or ten of us on the train. And who was accompanying you? The I believe Frances Gerald came and Magella. That's quite amazing when you think of you know right. think of today. Yes. What I remember is we were told we had to give up all of the Fannie Mae candy, <laughs> anything that we had, like that, could not be taken into the mother house. But you had some in your back pocket. Well, you know I didn't. That was, I remember. Uh, eating it and giving, when I think about it, I gave it, we gave it to the porter. <laughs> when I got to Adrian and realized what I had done. That, that well, I do have a trunk. <laughs> I put it in. Oh, I, I learned the trunk later. <laughs> oh, Joyce Banks, oh. here of him. Oh. She was on that train. Oh, they're all in the crowd. Oh. Happy day. Oh, we, we had a ball on the train, too. Mm. Yes. <laughs> who, who was your novice director? The novice director is Sister Edmund. Yeah, and Rita Marie was the postulant. Mm -hmm. Who eventually became the the of uh, the provincial in, in Chicago. In Chicago, right? correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So she was always shadowing you along, <laughs> right. along along the way. <laughs> yes, I think Edmund probably shadowed us more. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. And then I stayed into study after. I was finished, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Sister Ellen Vincent became. That was the first year that we, some of us stayed in to study, and the first year they brought people in from the missions. Wow. Yes. And we were very disappointed we didn't get out, and they were disappointed they left some great schools. No doubt. Uh -huh. No doubt. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That was giving up a, a lot of income, oh, too. Yes, <clears throat> yes. And that was, you know, at the semester, mm -hmm. right? Well, you're very fortunate. I, yes. I suppose you did your master's in <laughs> Chicago then. No, I did my master's. I went to Catholic University oh. eventually, after I graduated from Siena. Then I went to my first mission in Treces and had Marie Arthur. Oh, my. Yes. And Jane Marie. So you taught high school right away? No, I had grade school. Oh, first grade. grade. Okay. Seventy precious oh. little first graders. Say that number again. Seventy. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's unheard Though, of today. Oh, right, but, you know, the year was 1948. Mm. Yes. I, I remember the eighth graders helping pass out milk, but outside of that we had no, no help. Oh my. And of course, it, it, St. Teresa's was a combination high school also, yes. high school, grade school. And a lot of good teachers there. Oh. Yes. That you marvelous, had the privilege of living with. Marvelous teachers. Yes. 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 Well, what a story. But that was the only time you taught in Michigan. Well, I taught after six years at St. Teresa's. I went a couple of years to Lansing. Mm -hmm. A sister Carmelia? No, uh, Matthew Ian was the superior. Okay. I forget who was the yeah. principal. I know uh, Carmelia was the principal oh, at some she point. She could have been. <clears throat> mm -hmm. No, it was. Uh, Resurrection? Resurrection. Yeah, yes. Another big place. Big, at the, oh, huge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and then finally, well, finally, you returned home. I <laughs> finally <laughs> returned home. I bet your parents were happy that oh, you Oh, they were. There. They were yeah. very, very happy. Yes. Yes. I went to St. Lawrence's first. Yes, for six years. And that was near them, relatively. Well, not far, you know, mm -hmm. it's Chicago, south side. Side, right. Yeah, but they didn't have a car. You know how oh. it was in those days. Yes. They didn't have one. Well, well, we didn't have a car either at St. Lawrence's. <laughs> we depended on... Uh, oh, the wonderful people. The you know parish. how so many of the people yeah. drove the nuns. Yeah, the mm -hmm. students' parents, yes, oh my. Mm -hmm. 
But I am astounded to realize, Marion, that you spent 50 years at Regina Dominican High School. Right. Oh, my. How right now, at this point, it's actually after I retired. I spent a few more years after we moved out of the convent. And so I really have a record of probably 54 years. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't Same. know of any, I've never met anyone else that has <laughs> spent that length of time in one place. Yes. But it probably never felt like one place because there are always a turnover. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people would say, you know, oh, it must be so boring. There was nothing boring. It was with all the changes of principles, administrations, and levels, you know, of education and introduction of technology and change of oh, habit. Ch change, change <laughs> of habit. I and I wore many hats. As I was homeroom chair person, I was department chair for 37 years. Oh my. Senior moderator, you name it. And so it wasn't boring. It was challenging. <laughs> so the alumni were very happy every year when they would come back that you were there. You were kind of the stability, the pole that they could hold the on to. <laughs> right. Yes. I mellowed over the years. <laughs> <laughs> you pick and choose your battles. So, so how many presidents did you train? I, I mean uh, right. principals. Right. Well, I had uh, six uh Actually, I had six or nine principals, oh. nine principals and six presidents, because the role of president was introduced in 1984. And they were a combination of Adrian Dominicans, mm -hmm. uh, different religious orders, uh, lay people. Mm -hmm. What well, wasn't um, Ann Fallon? Yes, one Ann Fallon was one of the first presidents. Was was uh, Pat Downing a president Pat also? Pat Downing was a president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was Marilee Ewing? And Marilee. Marilee Ewing was a, a principal. Oh, she was a principal. Uh, she was a principal. And um, Carol Fleming? Carol Fleming, Fleming was a president. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, <laughs> good distinction. And Mary <laughs> Margaret. Oh, Mary yeah, Margaret. She was there she seven was years as a president. Oh, my. My, my, Those were your last years. Well, yes, but I was there two years with the new president, who is a, a lay woman, wonderful. You know, Elizabeth, she came to us as Elizabeth Schuster, mm -hmm. and uh, the first year she was married, so she's known now as, uh, you know, Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I... What, what yeah. te teaching social studies, mm -hmm. did that ever take you out of the country? Oh, it did. I was very fortunate. I, we had what we called a European tour. And as juniors, it was a class that they signed up for. And they knew then that they, there were seminars every month. And every month was a different country that we were going to visit. And if they were part of the class, then there was a European tour. And I went on the European tour five times oh with them. My. It was wonderful. Uh, did they, <clears throat> did they uh, have uh, cookie sales and bake sales to get money to go? No, not really. At that time, uh, we had more affluent girls than we probably, you know, have now. Mm -hmm. No, they had to pay for it, they, you know, themselves. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And so, then, of course, that also, you know, paid for our trip. Yes. And then we had our own bus, our own tour director. Yes, it was very nice. That was a huge responsibility, too. Oh, did yeah. you take parents along? Uh, no, we, we did not at that time. Mm -hmm. But toward the end uh, of the, I think, the fifth time we went over, some of the parents came mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, as chaperones. But we had... Well, chaperone tour. There were always two nuns. What was the highest uh, r uh, number in, of enrollment during your 50 years? Well, when years I first session? went there, there were over a thousand, I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shared a classroom. I had a cart with all my books on it, and I went from classroom to classroom. 
because I was one of the youngest. Oh my. Okay. And I thought that was what everybody did until I did recognized. Did you have a homeroom? I, I had a homeroom. Mm -hmm. But yes. then you had to move out. <laughs> right, move out of the homeroom and Sister Mary Jane Hart taught a science class in my homeroom. <laughs> yes. And uh, so you she, probably left everything in perfect order. Perfect order, <clears throat> because she was also my superior. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I remember you. wiping the desk. Can you imagine wiping the desk? And using Windex on the inside of the windows, because I wanted Things the to classroom to be sparkle, <laughs> and I thought, this is the way it should be if my superiors come in. <laughs> Later on, we laughed about it because yeah. she was the superior for a yeah. while. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you um, embrace Vatican II when it swept through? Yes, you, you know, I, I guess I did. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I would say that I probably did. Remember? Fortunately, we're, we are so uh, understanding that there were late. Uh, Late bloomers and early bloomers <laughs> were the changes in the in the church at that time, right. and the gift was we were patient with one another. I, I believe we yes. were. I had a wonderful experience mm -hmm. being there. Yeah. Yes. And what is the enrollment today? I mean, the enrollment roughly. today is about a little over three hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did it make a difference when the Jesuit school, or oh. is it, it was a Jesuit school, Yeah, oh, Jesuit, oh, Loyola Academy. Yes, mm -hmm. it made a big difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sister Pat Downey was the president at that time. Did they let you know this is what was happening? Oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I'm sure that probably those in administration knew more about it. But, mm -hmm. oh, yes, we did know. Did you and remain they friends? I mean, did you remain friends? Did you do oh, anything did. together? Yes, we did. But mm -hmm. uh, I love the Jesuits. Mm -hmm. and I really do. They said Mass for us every morning at 6.30. But yes, uh, mm -hmm. it made a difference. And uh, uh, the girls are interested, you know, at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Some of them still are, of going to a co-ed school. Mm -hmm. Was it originally a co-ed? No, no, just boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They originally were in the city, and then they moved to the north side, and then they moved up to Wilmette. Mm -hmm. So they have a campus. They're only a few blocks from us. Mm -hmm. Why does the name Isaiah Thomas come to my mind? Was he, was he you know, the basketball player? Oh, the player? basketball player. <laughs> maybe he went to... I think he went maybe to... Maybe he probably went to Loyola. I think he did. Oh, right. I think right. he did. Yes. But we had great alumnus also. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and sometimes, um, you know, they would the girls would come to Shadow, but there was still an interest in the boys. Uh, can you recall the the young women that entered the Dominican congregation, our congregation? I know they just honored uh, well, Nancy Murray. Well, Nancy yes. Murray, yeah. uh, Pat Walter. Oh, Pat Walter taught there, mm -hmm. yes. And, and then Donna Markham? Uh, Donna Markham, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mary Jo Potter, do you Mary Jo, jo Potter. Potter, oh yes, yes. I hear yes. from her a lot. She lives in California. Yes. Yes, Mary Jo Potter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones I've, I'm familiar yeah, with. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. But there's so many that you can be, of the, your graduates from Regina, you can be so proud of. Oh, I of taking professional positions. Oh, wonderful. And being empowered as women, correct? Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, and that, I think, is the really advantage and benefit mm -hmm. and, you know, of going to an all-girls school. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes, the girls are wonderful. A lot of them, I know, you know a lot of lawyers, you know, they went into political position, positions, I say. Well, now that you're at Regina again, <laughs> the second most important <laughs> Regina in your life, you have the the privilege of of visiting with Sister Marie Bride every oh, day. Yes. Who was at uh, Regina Dominican for how many years? Yes, she was at Regina for over forty years, and I lived when they, you know, reconfigured the convent. Mm -hmm. I lived with her for. 37 years. Oh, altogether. Yes. Yes. And yes. she is one precious 
I bet she loves lady. when you come into the oh, room. Yes. She perks right and up. She, oh, she does with yeah. those blue eyes. Yes. Some days she'll tell you, you know, exactly what she thinks about uh, yes. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we but rejoice at her age, too. Exactly. We celebrated her 98th birthday. Oh. Mm hmm. And the mind's still so sharp. God oh. bless her. Yes. And she wanted all the cards up on the door, and I kind of said, you know, I don't know if that's appropriate or not. Uh -huh. uh, I said that means putting tape on the door. She said, well, you can handle that. You have all kinds of time. <laughs> I thought you would have said we don't have enough doors <laughs> for, for all the cards. But that's true. The rest were piled up. <laughs> and she wanted me to keep them, and I still have them over in the side of her table. What did she teach at Regina? She taught uh, math. Oh, I think I do yes. remember that. Oh, yes. 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 So what and was she, she was at Aquinas when I was there, but she did not teach me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to say to the alums from the, the <laughs> remarkable women who have graduated that you have known through the years? What would oh, you like I, to tell them about yourself right now? Oh, what I'd like to tell them about myself? Yes. Oh, but, well, that I remember them daily, I, and I appreciate all their communications. Yes, I appreciate their messages. Yes, and I enjoy what they're doing, and I respond to them. I'm on Facebook. Oh, my. Uh, to some extent. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for right you. Right on the computer, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Right. Well, we send blessings to them, too, and to all, all those uh, remarkable Adrian Dominicans who have given their life in education, especially those at Regina Dominican. And that includes you. Oh, thank you. God Thanks, bless you. Julie. Yes, thank you. Thank you.